Hey guys, it's Fubridu. Today we're taking a look at the commemorative series, I believe that's four, Decepticon Classic Reissue Skywarp. I am so happy I have this thing. Finally, I have a G1 Seeker, and that's just so cool to me. So, um, taking a look at the box, nice, nice artwork right there. Um, you got the commemorative series, changes from Jet to Robot and back. And then you got the old G1 Transformers logo, and then the Generation 1. Warning! Choking hazard. So, if you're under three years old, you can't... Well, <laughs> something contradicts here. It says under three years, and it says age is five plus, so I don't know what's going on there. But, um, you can see it's a classic reissue. Um, yeah, um... Very nice on the front. On the top, you got the old start, change, change, finish. On the side, you have the same painting and all the same stuff. Same thing over here. And on the back, I don't know well you can see all that, but you got epic artwork right here. So you got Megatron there, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarps just up in there. I don't know how well you can see them. I can't see them very well, so... Um, there's his tech specs, and um, we'll zoom in on his bio so you can see what it says, if you'd like to read it. Actually, I'll read it, because Skywarp's one of my favorite characters. Skywarp is a sneak who enjoys playing cruel tricks on his comrades and appearing without warning to snipe an Autobot, uh, Autobot forces. Cunning and powerful, he is the most deceitful of all Decepticons, and he would be a misguided soldier without Megatron's constant supervision. Carries heat-seeking missiles and variable caliber machine guns and has an ability to teleport up to 2.5 miles. His top speed is 1,500 miles per hour. So, yeah, he's he pushes people down the stairs. What else can we say? So, um, yeah, great, great box. Really like the box. And actually, um, it's one of those old kind of um, reissue boxes where you got Velcro here and you see Skywarp and everything. Actually, I probably should have zoomed out so you could see what I was doing, but um, it was closed like this, and I just open it up, and you got awesome, awesome, um, just the, the, the whole design of this whole thing is just great. And you got other G1 bots. You got Jazz, um, Thundercracker, Blue, or Silver, Silver Streak. I, I just call them Blue Streak, but Prowl and Red Alert, and collect them all. Who knew this was Pokemon? <laughs> Whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get this open, and we're going to check him out. So actually, I'm just going to open this to show you what it's like, because I really like opening these boxes. So, pulling this out, you can set the box out to the side. Actually, if you want to get an idea of how big this box is, here it is next to the Masterpiece Pro box. So, well, about the same length, actually, just a bit taller. So, I'm um, taking these both off. Um, You have all this junk. So, taking this bit off, you got the robot... The base robot, and then you got all these different accessories in here. So I'm gonna take all those out. And you come with a bunch of tree stuff, but there's a landing gear hiding in there. But anyway, I don't want to break those. I just broke the null ray ones because I like the null rays the best. So I'm setting that off to the side and um, coming down here so you can see everything. I'll take this out of the way too. Um, you got a bunch of crap, and um, I'm gonna fold these in. And so I'll put him in his plane mode. So um, you got a landing gear. You can plug that in a hole right there. He's black, so you won't be able, obviously won't be able to see very well a lot of what I'm doing. But they're G1. They're really simple, so it's not it's not complicated at all. So you just plug these in right here, and his back wings, his tail rudders, or whatever you want to call them. And um, that's pretty much the basic plane mode um yeah that's an f-15 eagle so um taking his null ray cannons you can plug them in um right to the wings which is really cool pretty much every single seeker can do that and you can just plug these in and uh that's how i like to display them in plane mode so um he, i did take out his fist and those are for his robot mode editor, but um very cool jet I really do like how it looks. Even for Generation 1, this looks really good. Um, for a size comparison, here is with a Classics mold. Um, I don't have any of the original Three Seekers. I only have the cone heads. So, um, Skywarp is ac actually beats him in play mode by, like, here's, here there to the top, about that much. So, about, like, two inches. 
So there's that, and I'll set him back here because he's a really big one. <laughs> the masterpiece mold. I'm just seeing how they look. Yeah, quite a bit bigger. Quite a bit bigger. With his buddy Thundercracker. So, setting him off to the side. I'm just going to transform him real quick. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is you can open this. Unfortunately, nothing can fit in there. Alright, now we get the transformation. So, there's a lot of parts forming involved, obviously. Not as much as, like, Omega Supreme, but there still is parts forming. So, um, what I like to do is just unplug everything you don't need. So, like, the landing gear, um, the no rays. I don't like to take them apart. Technically, you can take them all apart like this and... Yeah, you already saw how those came off, but I don't like doing that. And um, these don't seem to go in all the way, and this one's kind of loose, so maybe I could fix that with some floor polish. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of unfortunate, but it's not a it's not a like a I don't know it's not like a big deal. But um, anyway, to transform, what I like to do first is just kind of put these sideways, and then um, I can pop out the arms just like that. And, um, flip down the feet, obviously. And you'd want to turn these like so. So now I can get them standing up. Just like that. And, yeah, I have to raise my camera. I didn't think I'd have to, but, well, I suppose I don't have to. But then you can kind of position these however you want. I'm just going to flip them all the way around. Oh, no. I, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this without parts for them, but whatever. It's all the way around. In and back there. That's pretty much the only way to do it. So, there you have that. Um, you disconnect the nose cone. You bring this through here. If I can get it through here. Oh, there we go. Alright, and then, now you can just bring this up. Like that. And there you have his head. So, then you just plug on the fist to his arms, which look kind of weird. They almost look like mittens or something. But... Yeah, there's the base robot mode. That's how you transform. So, um, to finish kind of the look, you can plug in his no rays. I just fired his no ray. And, um, something I like to do and a lot of other people like to do, um, is store the landing gear in the cockpit. So that's kind of neat. And you won't lose that. So that way you won't lose any pieces. So, um, you have Skywarp, and he looks really, really blocky and really Generation 1. And I like it. I really like it. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he obviously doesn't look too great, but, um, for the time, he looks, he looks pretty good. I mean, they made these before the cartoon came out, so I can totally forgive it. I really like this toy, actually. Really huge fan of the G1 Seeker mold. Um, he does kind of ha have a weird, um, cone sticking out of the back of his head, and actually you could put this up to make him a cone head, but that looks goofy, so, yeah. If you put him up, like, here, it doesn't look too bad, but it's not that big of a deal, and his wings obviously aren't as high as they should be, but I don't really care. And actually, one thing you can do to fix that, and I've seen people do this, is you can plug these into the side of his arms, and, uh, I haven't tried that yet, so I want to see how this looks. Eh. Actually, not too bad. It's just when you move his arms around, then, and then you get that. But if you keep him just like that, he actually doesn't look too terribly bad. But, um, yeah, they're supposed to be about... You know, that one doesn't want to come up. Like, right here. That's, like, where the wing should be, right there. But, um, it's G1. I can forgive it. There are a lot of more unforgiving people out there. But, um, yeah. Just plugging his null rays on, and they do shoot. Be very careful with them. You don't want to lose these pieces, because they sell for a lot of money on eBay. Any piece that you lose from this guy sells for a ton, like a fortune. So, um, actually, for a size comparison, here's with the Classics mold. Um, he barely beats them. They're really, really close. Um... Yeah, I'd say the top of the intakes are um, pretty close to the same level. Maybe this one's just an inch, you know, a little bit taller, not an inch, more, more like a half a centimeter taller. But his head just um, barely peeks over his intakes. So there you have them. 
So setting him off to the side. I feel like transforming Thundercracker, so here he is with Masterpiece Star Screen. Quite a bit taller, actually. About two thirds taller than this little midget. So that's about it for the size comparisons. Um, awesome figure. I mean, not for today's standards, but you know what? It's G1. You, you you can you can forgive it you can you know you can um just an awesome awesome figure really cool highly recommend picking him up if you're a g1 collector you need to have skywarp that's just a given um i mean but you might want to put him on a separate shelf because he might push people downstairs but uh, i don't know i'll keep him on a separate shelf because I, I never know what this little bugger is gonna do <laughs> so um yeah, that's about it. Um, I really like this toy. I, I, I keep playing with him on the camera, so I better leave him alone so I don't break anything or anything. But um, yeah, all in all, very cool. Highly recommend picking him up. I really do like the original mold. Um, just so cool. So nostalgic. So awesome. <laughs> that's just how these G1 figures work with me. They're just, they're all awesome. Except for maybe Wheelie, because let's face it, he sucks. So, um... That, I think that about wraps it up. So, um, this is Fuberduge. I want to thank you for tuning in. Um, please subscribe. Check out some of my other reviews and some of my stop motion videos. And um, also, um, a news update. Um, I have um, a few new people doing some voice uh, work in our new stop motion. And um, I'll post that later. But um, stay tuned for a few more reviews coming your way. And also, stay tuned for um, a few stop motion um, projects that I'm working on that will come out very soon. So, again, I want to thank you for tuning in. Keep playing, guys.